Congresswoman Elise Stefanik is on pace to raise over $3 million in campaign contributions by the November 2016 election. I've got the details. Plus, the Warren County Board of Supervisors will revisit the county's fireworks law. And crime in Washington, Warren, and Saratoga counties is trending downwards. I've got the numbers. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Jay Hood Jackson. And here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, it's been a year and a half since Congresswoman Elise Stefanik made history by becoming the youngest female ever elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, a recently released campaign finance report shows that the voters who made her the youngest representative ever are continuing to support her. Stefanik raised just over $430,000 from seven metropolitan area events. Last quarter, she received contributions from 21 states, Washington, D.C., and even London. Stefanik has also received money from two political action committees that focus on defense and education spending. Now, estimates suggest that if Stefanik continues to raise money at this pace, she will have $3 million in her campaign fund by November 2016. Now, change it from news to weather. We had another day of warm temperatures and low humidity. It made it perfect to be outdoors. But will the trend continue for the weekend? For the latest, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, the Warren County Board of Supervisors will consider repealing a law that allows for the sale of small fireworks. The Lake George Village Board asked the county to reconsider the law earlier this week. The sale and use of fireworks has led to multiple accidents and noise complaints. Lake George Mayor Bob Blaze pointed to an incident where a person threw a popper at a horse-drawn carriage. Now, this frightened the horse and caused it to take off. Warren County Fire Coordinator Brian Lafleur said there is a concern that people stockpiled fireworks when they were legal to buy in June and July. Now, it's important to note that although fireworks are only allowed to be sold during the two designated time periods, they can be used anytime. Warren County Chair Kevin Garrity noted the increased tax revenue was a benefit for the county, but also said it led to many problems. The board has not set a specific date for discussing the topic, but we'll do so in the coming months. Well, also in the news, a recent report showed that crime continues to fall in our region. The report for 2014 showed that Warren, Washington, and Saratoga counties have all seen a drop in serious crimes for three straight years. Saratoga County dropped 42 percent, Washington County 30 percent, and Warren County 25 percent. Now, a serious crime includes murder, forcible rape, car theft, larceny, burglary, and felony assault. Well, arrests in Warren County have dropped by 26% since 2008. Washington County has seen a 15% drop over the past decade. Warren and Washington County DA Kate Hogan and Tony Jordan noted that the heroin and prescription painkiller epidemic is still, as they put it, horrific. The county sheriff's departments continue to work to put an end to drug-related crimes. In other news, the Saratoga County Fair kicks off Tuesday with a lineup full of events and activity that are fun for the whole family. Now, this is the 174th annual Saratoga County Fair, and we've got a new act, Gail Mirabella and the Dynamic Dogs. The act has a national following, having performed on the David Letterman Show and Good Morning America. Also, the fair has added 500 additional parking spaces, totaling over 4,500 spots. Now, you could uh, help fill those by heading to our Facebook and Twitter pages. Why? Well, we've got free tickets to give away. 
Well, still to come, if your kids like making films, then listen up. Founder of the Saratoga Film Academy, John Dorflinger, is here to tell us about the different classes he offers kids of all ages. Plus, Melaine Jackson and Jeff Kingsley are here to discuss Melaine's Diamond Jamboree. You want to see that. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.